part of your life. You see a lot of people like that. And then there are people that are like this. They're, they're balloons. Uh, they're filled with air. They look like they are what they're supposed to look like. They look like they have life by control. They're heading down a, a path that looks like it's a good path. It's a full path. It's a rich path. It's something that has been prosperous for them. But you get below the surface, and that's what's there. Jesus talked about it as whitewashed sepulchers. Looks good on the outside, but you get behind there, and there's deadness. There's emptiness. There's, there's nothing there. The thing about witnessing that has really excited me is not that I have to be on anybody's schedule, not that I have to witness the X number of people in a week, but I have to be fully committed to God. That's it. I have to walk in his presence. And then this is what happens. Now I've got some water balloons. And we're just going to just pretend Graham is somebody that we want to come to church. You know what, if I put the next screen up, if you will, Don. Put the next screen after that up. He, look at the first verse here. He that believes, whoever's a believer, is going to be filled with streams of living water, and they're going to flow from within him. You know what that means? The more you are filled with Christ, when there's an opportunity there, it's not going to be hard for you to spit, to squirt, to gurgle, to let a little bit out of the Holy Spirit of your life into somebody else's life. And you know what the good thing is? It's because it's a non-ending stream, it gets filled up right away. And it just keeps going. And sooner or later, sooner or later, what you have in your life, without any effort of yours, is going to start spilling over into somebody else's life. You don't have to force it. Thank you.